up that back air. Right. He's not a very projectile heavy playing uh, zero suit. Right. He's all about, and I wouldn't even say he like outmaneuvers. Well, he does if he has a platform, but I wouldn't say like he's one of those like high octane zero suits. He's all about just playing around your circle, pushing you out to the edges of the stage, and then abusing you with back airs. Right. And uh, there's some truth to that for DVD too. It's going to be probably a very platform heavy match. Although I'm going to laugh, they might end up at they might just end up at Smashville, which will be really funny. That would be hilarious. But I think with the two platform heavy characters. Because I feel like both of them would be stressed out about the other characters using the platforms. So do you want to go there? And they do not want to go there. They want to play the less platform focused game. And they go right in there. The game audio is feeling a little funny to me, but. Uh, Smashville's been feeling like that all day. Interesting. Okay. The music's been very uh, muted. J Falls just. Yeah, quick 74%. I don't even know how he got there. Like. Just the nice air to air is winning them, which is not very easy against Toon Link. It's not easy to win air to air versus Toon Link. Oh, wow, great call out on that tether. Dodge. Yeah, so it kind of, you know, stays out there for a while. It's going to cover an air dodge. Wow, baited that shield grab. DVD is so good at baiting out bad options out of shield and just punishing you for them. You know, he, he really makes you think you're making the right decision and then calls you out with it for it. J Falls is doing a great job, though, exerting himself on the—I mean, asserting himself on, with, on this flat stage. You know, I actually love that arrow because it doesn't actually put on that much pressure, but the person wants to jump over it, and Toon Link with like a jump air, jump up air can cover like a double jump really nicely. Oh, oh that SDI was crazy. Nice grab, goes nice. to the up smash. Dash up smash. Ooh. Wow. Wow, he grabbed that. Every game with DVD is just such a patient neutral and just waiting for the hit to come in, you know? Very good nair out it's there. It's the reverse hit of it. Yeah. yeah He's been getting a lot of mileage out of these nairs. I've been noticing that when his opponent is at these high percentages, nair ends up being his way to secure the kill. And Jay Falls stomps on him below the ledge. He was not and invincible. Yeah. Jay Falls' is down, down airs are unreal. They're absolutely unreal. These guys are two very happy players. You yeah, they're very mean? positive. So it's cool. It's kind of funny. It's going to be a fun w match to watch. And ZSS, we, you know, I want to talk about her a little bit too. One of the most flexible characters in the game. She's got it all. She she's really does. She's got platform movement. She's got like a bunch of jumps. She's got, uh, you know, great tech chases. Just people say she struggles to kill, but if she carries you off stage, which she can do, she can kill like pretty early too. And I think the ways that a zero suit needs to play this matchup to win are the exact ways that Jason Waterfalls is the master of. So for example, how many lasers have we seen this game? I don't think we've seen one. Maybe we've seen two, you know? Maybe we've seen one. Who knows? But you don't want to get into the projectile war with Toon Link. And that's not how Jason Waterfalls plays in the first place. So he's using his maneuverability to get around these projectiles, to get in the face of DVD, and to, uh, like just leverage his punish game and make make the kills happen at, at acceptable percentages. Also forcing Toon Link into the air. Yep. Like Toon Link is pretty good in the air, but he also is very susceptible to getting punished hard. And we're seeing Jay Falls win that air to air war. Look at the way he's hunting him, but and DVD is actually respecting him a lot. He's not like pulling things super close to him. He's always jumping away from Jay Falls, trying to avoid getting clipped by those up airs. Also, I'm reminded of that like scene in Star Wars. Like both of these people, whenever there's a platform near them, floating near them, they take turns like taking the higher ground. You know, right. like it's really funny to watch that. Both of them are, are very. They're just like the one platform. They're trying to get as much mileage out of it. And yeah. Nice coverage by Jay Falls with the back air on the. These back airs on the tethers have been the unreal. The force tether reel in that happens when you grab ledge at the same time as the tether. All right, Jay falls with his back to the wall. And then one of the great things I love about Toon Link is when he throws a bomb forward, and the person goes, oh, I can just, like, jump forward. And he's there with a, a nair to chop you out of the air. Right. That's what Toon Link is projectiles. They're, like, at the most basic level, yes, they're to hit people, but they also are excellent at forcing jumps. And Toon Link is pretty good in the air. And all of the momentum right now in DVD's hands. DVD was down a stock. Jay falls had the percent lead even when he evened it out. And right now, it just... It's a flipped game. And look at that pivot grab into the down smash. 
She can still come back from this. Yeah, that SD was really big. For but but when J Falls has not hit DVD in a hot minute. Yes. Oh, oh amazing! The down air into double jump back air. He's 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 starting to unlock that neutral game. That mobility he needs. Uh oh, oh. Is, okay. Oh, oh That's my it. God! That's so it. quick reaction times for both of them. J Falls with the awareness that I killed myself, and DVD got to the ledge and punished the tip force wheel in immediately. From what I can see, both of these players have mastered their tether reactions. Yeah. J Falls with the uh, ledge grab, uh, the short hop back air covers all of that room where you can't drift out of its threat zone. And then with DVD, it's the drop down up beast. And this is that messy platform situation we're talking about where these two characters who excel on platforms. Watch, look at how much they're fighting on the platforms. It's insane. They're gonna abuse the crap out of it. And like sometimes that's one of the most stressful things to deal with. Like, can I abuse it more than the other person? And it's worth noting, this is why Smash is fucking awesome. Like, this is what, this is to the credit of the game. Like, two players playing on the whole stage, taking advantage of it, and it's it's led to a completely different neutral game. It's crazy, look at that. Yes. Jab, jab, fall through, up air. Wow, clips him, and actually, oh, gets a great pickup out of that tether. And up yep, B is a really down, solid up punish against him. It's a sure you can, man. It's a sure you it's can, an and, and they both have their answers here. The tether's like, I haven't seen them drop one tether punish. <laughs> the dash attack, pretty good for J-Falls. Nice, covers the tether in two. He has an option for both, it appears. And now, actually, wow. it also is clear, though, that... Yep. Sorry, it's clear, though, that uh, that it's worse for DVD to, to, to fade back in terms of the punish, because the back air offstage is way worse yep. than the forward air onto stage. You'd rather be on stage. One thing we're seeing here is that I really do feel like a big part of this game is Jay Falls is getting back to the stage for free, which is how this matchup should look, I think, compared to the other side, which is Jay Falls hasn't been dropping an edge guard basically yeah. on DVD. His edge guard so, it's, so the game for DVD has been played on the basis of just having a much better punish game and winning out on neutral when these projectiles are are in play. And right now, Jay Falls needs to find out where he's going to sort of get his edge. Yeah, the mental game in, is is really not in Jay Falls' favor because he was kind of bodying DVD that first game and, and lost all his momentum. So you see he literally took off his hat because I yeah. think he, he knows that he needs to play with his mind as much as possible. Not he needs get that brain to get that, that Coach sunlight. Jay Falls, baby. Coach That's what they call him. Coach Jay Falls. He's Superman, dude. He's trying to get that sunlight. <laughs> trying to power up. I love DVD's usage of uh, his jab, jab, jab combos. It's like, it's great. He sets up these tech situations and he keeps himself safe while doing it. DVD with it. Amazing wavelength out of his bomb poles, bomb throws rather. Wow, dude. Jay Falls is honestly unrelenting when he gets a hit. Yeah, he is trying to hunt this down, but DVD is like his shield drops and his air dodges out of uh, Jay Falls' as a pressure. It's crazy because you'd think for, for how hard Jay Falls is going, he'd be getting punished, but he's not actually. He's playing it really safe. One big difference between these two players is. J Falls uses platforms uh, in a defensive manner to mix up his aggression uh, in the sense that he keeps himself safe, he drops down, he jumps back up. Meanwhile, DVD uses platforms as a way to like throw more hitboxes on stage. You know, he likes it when he and you are both on a platform because he'll jab, jab, drop down with an up air. He ex asserts more pressure from a platform. It also, it, there's more mix ups for Toon Link. He, he can decide to pull a bomb off of a platform, he can back air. He can, you know, come down with down airs. Uh, it's really scary. It covers a lot of options. Oh, oh great stuff. Him. The micro spacing. Amazing edge guard. Jay Falls, he just doesn't drop these edge guards on DVD. And we've seen DVD's recovery. We know it's disgusting. And this is the kind of, th and this is the thing that is so s stressful about the situation for DVD, or for Jay Falls, is how do you get this character off stage? He is just continually weaving through the platforms and not getting, oh, Get knocked, setting get up walls. Stage. Just setting up walls. These up airs have been huge. And he can't pierce through it. He's not been able to pierce through that first laser. Honestly, DVD's grabs have been the few opportunities J Falls has had to actually win neutral. 
You know, like like I've said it before, but when DVD pivot grabs, it looks like he always knows it's going to land. When he just regularly grabs, like... He, he misses it, like, he misses half, the it time. like <laughs> half the time. Yeah. J-Pop goes all oh the way my out. God. Oh, pulls himself into a KO move. You got to ask yourself, like, he didn't need to do oh, that. Oh, man. His edge guards were so good. He did not need to go all the way out there. Yeah, an overextension kills him there. And it kills him in game one. And DVD pulls out the 2-0. Yeah. I need something to eat. I need to pee. Should we ask people, someone else to take over? You want to call it? I kind of feel like you just never stop.